Can I call you Rose? Cause you're sweet like a flower in bloom. Can I call you Rose? Cause your fragrance takes over the room. Okay, so a quick disclaimer, um, I shot the first 20 minutes of the video on this uh, Friday, 5th of October, as you can see, um, which means uh, most of it will be during the evening, uh, hence why the quality is a little bit more shit, but then uh, on the Saturday, we're shooting during the day, so the video quality will be a bit better. Um, so yeah, my apologies for that one. <laughs> so... You might have heard my get you loaded up daddy in the background and now this can't be used. This footage cannot be used now. I have ruined the footage. Broken. Mute it. Uh. Mute it. You making a video? I am. For YouTube? Yeah, I'm waiting for her to talk. Well, say you... something, perform! What do you do want it. to say? Okay, so wait, wait. Lucy, uh, sorry guys, I'm here with Lucy Hempstead. Hempstead? Hempstead. 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 So I got it right. Yeah. I'm here with Lucy Hempstead <laughs> at the start of Gravel Worlds 2024 here in That's Belgium. Good. Yes, this yeah. is the start. The start <laughs> is in two hours time, my week tells me. So Lucy, it's great to have you. How are you feeling about tomorrow? <laughs> 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 I'm nervous, but excited for like my first world champs ever of anything, so I don't know. I'm going in with like, I don't know, I have high expectations, but also I don't want to have like a lot of pressure because I usually do better when I feel like comfortable and um, like excited to do well, so. Great. You heard it here first. How do you feel about the course? Have you pre-wrote the course? We've pre-written like, mm, like an okay amount of it. Um, it's like very much like mixed surface, like there's a lot of cobbles and then just like kind of hard packed gravel and then some single track stuff as well. Um, but yeah, it's like a very mixed bag of stuff and I think that it's just going to be like super technical and um, like very positioning um, oriented. Sounds like a good range of technical skills. Do you believe your technical skills are ready for the thing ahead? I see you've had a few good results around the world already. Do you um, think that this course will be up there in the most technical difficulty that, as the other courses you have done well? I definitely think it's going to be like super technical, especially with like the right. caliber of talent, Anything like racing. Um, but <laughs> doing an interview here, mate. Uh, 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 you sorry, can cameo. I, I fucked that up. No, you can cameo. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be like extremely technical, especially with the people there, they're going to make it like fast enough that it is technical even yeah. when you wouldn't expect it to be. Yeah. Um, but I think that the stuff I've done this year, like in Europe and just like some of the gravel racing and just like the crevasses and stuff in the Netherlands and Belgium, I think that that'll help. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to your your co compatriots. Co compatriots. Of Canada. It'll be a good race and it will be streamed live on Eurosport and Discovery Plus. And Flow Bikes. And Flow Bikes if you're. And uh, Sporza if you're Dutch. And or whatever Belgian. he said in Belgian and Sporza. Dutch. And you can use VPN. Just use Flow Bikes VPN. Just use There's VPN. Just <laughs> Sign into my account. Sign into my account. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lucy Hempstead. I'm uh, 30 years old. I ride a motorcycle. I'm washed up. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Hi, my name is Lucy Hempstead, and I am 23 years old, and I'm a Canadian cyclist racing for the Cycle Racing. Cool. Why are we here, Lucy? Um, I'm here racing the Elite Gravel World Championships in Canada. Really? Oh are you excited or not? I'm excited and nervous, but I think the nerves are good nerves, not bad nerves. Um, yeah. So maybe you were the camera. Maybe. What? Whatever you want to post. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like a void. It's scaring me. <laughs> okay, but can you tell us something about like where are we? Like, uh, there are people walking around, so. In Kortenberg, which is kind of like 13k. Is that a bin? What? A bin. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a bunch well, of under the sink. No, uh, that one I thought it was that one too, but there's actually just like several in the. I found the bin. The yeah. corridor between yeah, the it. kitchen and. The <laughs> We're interrupting our interview. No worries. That's good. Um, what was I saying? We're in Kortenberg, and it's like 13k from Brussels. Gas, gas, gas. And it's in Belgium, which is uh, where the race is. Uh, the race starts in Halle and ends in Leuven. And it's 135k. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here are your sources. And yeah, it's like very mixed terrain, and I feel like I saw that. Yes, believe me. We can see you ride. Toby would say. Oh, sorry, my bad. Muffy, Muffy. Do you want to do a walk around the house and introduce some people? <laughs> Why can't they come to me though? Oh. Cute. And then I wear his feather. That's Justin. We're doing introductions now. Yeah. Well, introduction. <laughs> I'm Justin. I'm from Texas. And we've got a great race this weekend. Just a casual one. Yeah, just a little one. It's like, it's, it might be a world champion. Maybe. And it's, my baby. It's a mindset, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how does it feel like meeting everyone again because you've been staying in Canada for the last two months again? Yeah, I because got back you, from Europe. Yeah. I was there from the start of July until the end, until like mid-August. Um, and then I've just been back like working full-time again for the government. So that's just been like a crazy change of pace. And it's honestly taken it more out of me than I'm willing to admit, I think. Um, not ideal prep, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I've been back. Uh, in Canada for a little bit. We did like a little stint to Vermont for a stage race, um, the Green Mountain stage race at Fort Hall. So that was like good confidence going into this. Um, and then just like been riding my gravel bike as much as I can uh, to prep for this. And also just trying to like stay motivated at the end of the season because it's the end of the season and it's been a very long one. Um, yeah. You also did uh, Tour de Gardino, which yes. are like two 1.1s. Yeah, two 1.1s. They, the TT didn't go. Those were like the 20th to the 22nd. There was like the time trial on the Friday, which I got 12th in, and I was hoping for more, but whatever. It was in the points, and that's what I really wanted to do was get some more UCI points at the end of the year. Um, the next day was the road race, which was like 117 k um, and they. Rather shitty circle for quite a while. Um, there were a lot of like speed bumps and stuff, but it was super technical. So in hindsight, it was like good prep for this and just like working on technique and stuff, which is always good. Um, I got 50 and our teammate got top 10, so that was good. And another like points opportunity, so that was helpful. And like very surprising, I wasn't expecting that. And the next day was just like a provincial level crit or like regional level crit. Um, but all the World Tour teams stuck, stuck around, so it was another good like opportunity to practice. And we had a little breakaway with like 20 seconds, like about just over halfway through the race. Um, but then there was a big crash in the peloton, so they kind of like, everybody got a free lap and they sent them in with the breakaway instead of respecting the gap, which is always fun, but... Um, so at that point we just like kind of rode it. And and do what we could, but it was also just like a very good weekend, and that was pretty recently. Cool. And then since then it's just been gravel. Do you want to talk to your bike setup and eating strategy? Um, we can walk I'm over to your bike as well. I gotta know this first before we do it. We gotta edit this part out. Like, think about what I would say. No, can you tell me what my group set is? Like, what by what? Sure. Okay, but tell me so that I can say it. Oh, it's a rival by Shram. No, the fucking actual gears. Oh. Um, so, who are we here with? Me. Me. Oh, oh my god. What's happening here? Uh, I have the Factor LS and it's uh, 52 and I'm running uh, 38 Pathfinder Pros and I think I think maybe I could have gone like slicker, but whatever.
arrow if we're here, so. We are here. That is um, true. That is factual. Yeah. It's pretty arrow. Yeah, it's actually the trend is arrow, so that's good. Um, yeah. What chain rings are you running? Did you say that? I don't know if I caught that. Uh, 46.33 and then yep. I'm going to that. How'd you feel about that? 46.33? I, like oh, I feel like it's too small. No, I feel like it's good. I know the front is, the front you should, is You should have a one by two. You should go for a one by No, I love a two by There's no better feeling than switching. It's, yeah, it's gotta be dark This is, 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 this is making the Charlie highlight reel. You better send this, this to me. Like a million, million views on TikTok. Like nobody wants to see the perfect videos anymore. You just want to see dramatic zooms. Yeah. And then it's really bad day. focusing. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Excited? Oh yeah. Tell me you're excited. Lucy, I'm sad. Remember that name? So excited. She's so excited. So excited. I only had to pre-ride the first 13k today because I'm gonna get dropped within those 13 k so No, that's not how we think. Finn, how do you feel about that statement? Tell me how you feel about that statement. Damn, should be real. Should be real here in Belgium. In England, in England, but with French people. Wow, that's making the highlight real. Hey, do not touch my bum. That is not a no. Get away. Give me kids. No, don't do that. I did it again. I did it again. Thank you so much. Six thirty. We're leaving at nine. I know, but your nervous system needs five hours to wake up. Bro, oh, shit. <laughs> it looks it. I might leave it to rest for a bit. To rest. Okay, everybody, shove out except oh, Lucy. Why? Why even need to talk about it? I don't know. There's nothing. The mic looks like that, and it's going to have to do it because I brought it here, and it has one glove. <laughs> and it's gonna have to work. Yeah, so, um, so what's gonna be a bit like your time schedule tomorrow, Lucy? Um, well, the race starts at 12. I wake up really early before races because I'm used to it from track. Um, so I'll probably get up at like 6.30. And then have breakfast, which is, you'll see what that is because you'll be awake and filming it. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be awake at <laughs> 6.30. It's always yogurt and marble and like, Whatever is cheaper. And coffee and coffee and coffee and lots of it until I have to leave. And then I try to have like a couple snacks like two hours before, then an hour before. Um, I don't eat a gel in the line because it makes me feel like I'm gonna die. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. What is that? Boost? What is this? Probably not. Is it like yeah. not? So you're... <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's, uh, what is it called? Whippets? No, I'm definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> Toxic shock. <laughs> Toxic shock syndrome. Sorry, get out of here. Maybe I'm just vibing. Um, but yeah, breakfast. Um, um, then we leave at nine fifteen. Yeah, like nine nine fifteen we leave, which is hopefully gonna be in the vlog as well. Yeah, we'll leave at nine fifteen. We'll get there for like ten. And we have like two hours and. I think they do like just like a big call up, like for everybody. So here we go, we'll be at the back. Shoot! Um, but not completely at the back, I think. So that'll be good. I hope so. I'm like, I think it starts, I think the number series starts at 400 for the women, and I'm 550. So it's pretty back of the line, considering I think it goes to like. Luckily, you're really good in positioning, eh? Oh, yeah. The best. The best. World class. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. Are you even excited for tomorrow? Yes, I'm excited for tomorrow. <laughs> what the hell? I'm excited. Are you just, like, tired? I'm bad at cameraing. Why? I don't know. You did well in Vigo's video. No, what video? The video. <laughs> oh, his video. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, no, I was, I didn't have a choice. 
Yeah, now you also don't have a choice. I'm paying to stay in this house to fucking to film you. <laughs> what do you mean? It's going well. It's going so well. Yeah, I mean, like tomorrow we're just gonna. Tomorrow will be good. We'll be locked in. Um, I'm excited. We're gonna do car vlogging I on just, the way I there. I feel like I shouldn't overthink it. When I overthink things, it becomes not good. I think I just need to go do it, and I can't think too much. Cause I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna have a choice what line I take. I'm just gonna have to go. You know, like you're just gonna have to go. You're gonna be like, oh, this is the line I'm going in now because there's a million other people, and I want to be there. Same goes for talking in the video as well. What? You have to stick with a line and not overthink it. That's what I'm doing. I'm really hey. yapping. Yeah. I'm yapping. Are you happy with your bike setup? Yeah, I like because, it. I it because um, is Factor Cyclery like sponsor? Because yeah, Factor. Okay. We get like a because the Cyclery is just a bike shop in Ottawa. Just a bike shop in Ottawa. It's mm -hmm. a great bike shop in Ottawa, and it's like the main sponsor of the team that I work for. Um, and they have a good deal with Factor, so. I was very lucky enough to get a good deal on buying this this year, um, and it's gotten me through like all of the growlers that I did this year, and it's been really well. It's been working really well. Um, yeah, it takes up to like 42s, 43s, but 38s are definitely on the bigger side for like the course tomorrow. I think I don't think you need anything more than that for sure. Um, I really like it, it's comfy, it fits like a road bike, like if I put road tires and stuff on it too, it's like identical. And how, if you would compare the course to the other gravel races you did this year, like? It's so different, everything else like, is all in the states and stuff, except for the track up. Um, but the gravel is just different, like this is more like foresty, leafy stuff, or like sand, um, and like hard packed dirt. Whereas like, Blue Mountain was just like rail, gravel roads, like rail trail stuff. Um, track was just like orange dirt gravel stuff and then like some for me technical sections <laughs> which are just like very rocky and like very downhill um, but they're fine and sea otter was also just like a shit ton of gravel but it was like just very twisty and narrow um, do you always run the same tires no i ran um shawlby g1s for the traca and for sea otter and what was the first one I did this year? It might have been sea otter. Sea otter, Characa, and then I ran I started running these for Gravel Locos and um, Blue Mountain and this other gravel thing that I did last weekend, but it wasn't a race, it was just excursion like more of a like touring yeah kind of, yeah because it rolls fast on road and a lot of the stuff in america and just around here is like pretty flat or like rolling and like you don't really need knobby stuff i find i'm talking completely out of my ass because i don't know anything about tires because i haven't like tried enough of them i think but yeah these are great so far and bike setup looks clean for once for once I mean, I mean, I was neighbors with Figo for like half a year, and I've never seen a clean factory in this house. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. So. Poor Goose. I will get him to, I don't know, clean his bike a little more. We'll do um, car wash dates. Do you want to do a walk through the house real quick, or like the living room, because oh. everyone is there? Go on. Um, when everybody else is doing things, oh. I get to watch it. We can watch the banana Yeah. So this is Penelope's world famous yeah. banana bread. It's world famous, there's no recipe. Wait, what do you I just, how do I make it? Um, I bake out of feeling. How does it feel? What do you mean, like what do you put in it? Uh, three bananas, one egg, a cup and a half of flour. I do, um, I'd say half a cup of sugar, uh, dark chocolate cho chocolate chopped up, and then a little bit of milk, baking powder, baking soda if I have it, salt. Mix it. Nah, 45 minutes in the oven. It comes out different every time. <laughs> um, it's always good. I'm add bonus chocolate. Cheers! Dark chocolate. Oh, 
best chocolate. I have it. This is the best chocolate. Cool, it's a Very good. Mm. So the kitchen right now is a huge monstrosity. <laughs> it's not that bad. To be fair, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Considering dinner was like literally one minute ago. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the to the table. Holy fuck! What? All of these. I love it. Throughout the world championship. Is it good? Yeah. Is it gas? Chocolate. Are we going to play it or are we playing it? We are. We are going to play it. Oh god. <laughs> to be fair, you're American, eh? So. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to, you have, you have to beat the stereotype today. Yeah, only part American though. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Dutchy, Dutch, Dutch game. Two Dutchies in the house. That's cold. One of those three <laughs> is Canada. No, but like liquid ground things, like the majority of it's still wet. Soft Charlie? Yeah, yeah definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> they look good. What are you getting? Hmm? What are we doing? We're going pee. It's not that <laughs> yeah, I also need to get my accreditation. Yeah. So. I don't know where that is, but I go over there. I see the press room there, so yeah. I'm guessing around there somewhere. Damn, inception. Cameraman. Damn. I did 35, 37, but I'm lying over. So our thicker tire is supposed to be. Yeah, what are we doing, Charlie? So we're getting on my front. We're trying to find some half decent cyclists to get pre race interviews for. <laughs> I think it'll be decent. Because it didn't get the full accreditation. Yeah, we didn't get the full accreditation. I think that's unfair. I think as a as a Netherlandish man, the the Dutch aren't too happy about you interviewing their good riders. Yeah. So to be fair, we are we are in Belgium, so it's also Belgium. like, you know. <laughs> yeah, in Belgium. Don't know how much they like you. To be fair, that might just be the look of you. Also, the Quok fans over there, go say hi to Bradley. Hey, good. How are you? Did you guys just get him? Sorry, this is Hello, Charlie. What's down that? Huh? I'm making a video. <laughs> oh, how much is it? Hey, no, Hamster. Lucy. 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 Primo Penelope. Pablo. Sofia. Roberta. Caitlin. Woo! Go, go, go. McLeod. Kate. How are you feeling, Charlie? Pumped. Caitlin looks cold. She's shivering. Get, a, get some B roll of Caitlin shivering. Ah, this is a Veruta star line. Got it, eh? Good luck, girls. Two minutes before the start lane.
depressed. We're depressed. Damn, he's depressed. He's depressed? No, 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 no. depressed. What are we doing, Finn? We're uh, trying to get to making people angry. Apparently. There it is, guy in the way. There's the motorbike. There's the motorbike, homie. The motorbike's no, coming. <laughs> They're coming. The Vicky needs to wait. Go on, Heidi. Forty-five. Go on, Lisi. Come on, eh? Okay, let's just ignore the fact I just called Lucy Lisi. Anyway. Come on, Kaylin. Go on, eh? Come on, Penelope. Come on, eh? Okay, so in the end, we didn't get any more race footage because um, we missed the feed zone. Um, but uh, Caitlin pulled out because she had one or two mechanicals. I can't remember on top of my head how many she had. Uh, but she pulled out uh, when she came onto the local labs. And um, Lucy and Penelope came in, um, in the, basically like the peloton for play 60 from the top of my head. outro right now. Do, do you have anything to say, Charlie? Gravel, day one, the girls went well. The girls. I think everyone gave it their best. I think everyone really left it all there on the gravel stones. It was good. The gravel stones. The gravel stones. The few and far between. The few and far between. <laughs> proud of everyone today. I'm excited for the boys race tomorrow. Yeah. Let's go. It's going to be fun. Ooh. I think it's one <laughs> 
I'm gonna run between the feeds. So it's gonna be good. I'm gonna wear my all wear my shoes, all wear my trails. To be fair, it wasn't actually muddy. We could wear our shoes. But yeah, over to Lucy. Outro. How was it? it was yeah, good. like 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 give a, like a quick recap first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. So off the front, it was so 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 hard. Like the first hour. Like it started like a road race. There was mostly road in the first bit I found. Like there was some like gravel stuff. <laughs> you just saw it in the background. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it sounded too. No, it was just funny. He uh, he put up like the couch and <laughs> it's just like <laughs> Carry on, carry on. Um, yeah, so it started like a road race basically. Um and it was just like a shit ton of corners and like road furniture that people crashed on and it was hectic and I was like mm, this feels like a road race and also a world tour of road race because 30 riders at least are world tour anyways um yeah so it's really hard um the front group ish was like 40 ish riders I think um and I was there until I wasn't and then I like fell back into another little group and um, it joined up with another group that had like Penny in it, but the first hour was like 112 TSFs. Like it was like, I looked at the first hour and I was like, okay. <laughs> That's why it felt really hard, it's because it was really hard. Um, yeah. And then the rest of the day felt really good. I like made sure I didn't like panic from it starting really, really crazy and like mess up all my fueling and stuff. So yeah, that went well. And then riding just in with that like group of people that just like kind of would like swell and then slim out and then swell and then slim out like throughout the day um it was good we like maintained around like 60th through, like throughout the day we got swarmed at the end by like a bunch of master men which kind of like threw off what we had going the entire day which was like annoying but whatever um but i had a lot of fun actually like the gravel and everything that we'll yeah it's a shame you guys just missed out that uh, first like peloton ish because that peloton yeah. was like from place 20 to like 45 yeah and and like at one point you were just like hanging four minutes behind it whole time I know. it's just like you you missed that switch in the like in the second hour because was after that so it was blown. like yeah. I was so blown honestly i like i knew it was happening too and i was like like yeah. i remember the parts of the race where i saw people that ended up finishing in that group and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I really would have like blown myself up to be in it. Yeah. I was happy with how I like paced it and everything. I think, like, I felt a little too recovered in the back end of the race. Like, I was like, I'm gonna go like really hard and like take really long pulls and stuff. So I was like, mm. I felt really fresh at the end instead of like when I wanted to be at the start. Like, if I had felt at the end how I did at the start, I think I would have been able to stay a bit longer. Yeah. It's annoying when it's your legs and like not anything else. But was it when with when you missed the split? Was it like positioning wise or just like no, pure like blown. what? I was yeah. blown. I was properly exhausted. Yeah. So how was it like because you started like well, at, the, at the back? So I yeah. made up like a decent amount of spots though. Like I took yeah. like some good. <clears throat> I took some good lines like on the single track and stuff, and like actually made up some pretty decent positioning considering I started literally like 120 like 115th on the grid out of 137 people. Literally the last row. Like literally the last row. So like considering we were like in the first half of the group starting literally at the back, like I was able to make up a lot of because basically it was just like reverse sagging the whole race. Uh -huh. So and I felt really good on all of the like features and gravel and technical bits, which are nice because I was like I felt a kind of a lot of pressure to do like okay in those because I want to like continue to do gravel and I really wanted to like prove that I can do that part considering there's a lot of road I really wanted to do well in the parts that weren't and I felt like I did so that was good um, so the big question what's next I don't know <laughs> I don't know ask anyone in this house they all know that I don't know okay so uh, <laughs> call out to any team that's watching yeah. Shout like my PCS and my first cycling, it's good. Okay. Um, I swear, I don't know. Just put a put a the manager's email Links, up there. Everything, first cycling, PCS, my agency website, please. It's all gonna pop up now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but are you happy with your feeling of today, or are you like? Yeah, I'm happy with it. 
I really, there's a point in the race where I was like, I'm 100 and I'm never going to see somebody again. Yeah. Was convinced. Was convinced. I was like riding by myself between like catching like the group of people I stayed with and like being dropped from like the main group. Um, Cause it was like Lottie and Mariana Ross as I understand, four minutes ahead of like the main group. Yeah. And you were four minutes behind, behind that group. Yeah, at one point. I don't know yeah. in the end. But like when I got to the first speed zone. Yeah. Like just over 40k in, I was like dangling. Yeah, but everything was still pretty much like it was all lined out, but yeah, it was pretty it was much lined still. Out yeah. For s it was so hard. But like at one point, it was just like Kopecky and like five people up the front, and then like that peloton, and then your, your little group. Yeah. So. Yay. Yeah, but I mean, the then, but I mean, like the next step is just like get into that peloton. Well, and just like do more of the races too, and like get more points and like have a better start grid. Yeah. Because I know how to move forward. I move forward. But the, but the point but the point is like if you get in that peloton, you can just fight for top twenty at yeah. worlds. Yeah. Exactly. It's easy as that. It sounds easy, yeah. but. I think like yeah, it being like my first ever worlds ever of anything. Yeah, Never. but also to be fair, you work how many hours a week compared to <laughs> probably the rest of the field? I, you, you have, you I have work 40 hours a week. Yeah, so like you have a full-time job. Yeah, okay. so I don't know. I still do t like 20 hour weeks. So, so 60 hours of work <laughs> every fucking week. Oops, swearing. But 60 hours of work every week is a lot. It takes a lot of time. Um, so all things considered, I am happy. I was about to say, yeah. Like, I don't know how many of the people we raised have full-time jobs. Probably a decent amount of them, but it isn't easy. Also, Canadian is, I would say, different because you can't build up, like, your engine with all the races. No, while someone no, from you, have to, you have to pace how you train differently, and then getting over here is a lot more expensive because it's transatlantic instead of just, like, Also, you came in drive. this Wednesday, so jet, jet lag. Yeah, I don't know. The jet lag's been okay just because of how early I have to wake up for work at home. Yeah. It ends up, like, kind of not being that bad of a switch. And I slept on the flight, so it was okay. Okay. But, yeah, it was good. Time good to wrap weekend. it up. Um, how do we wrap it up? Like, 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 Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure so, to like, subscribe. Yeah, like, like pl pluck your Instagram real uh, quick. You can find me on, like, Lucy Hempstead uh, on Instagram and Strava, like, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, <laughs> everything. Lucy Hempstead. And, uh, my agency has a website, so I'm on there as well if you want to like do some stalking. Which is, what is the agency? Inspire Management. Inspire Athlete Management. But yeah, true. That's probably. It. Guess, guess what one it is, guys. Um, yeah. Find me on OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> don't do that, please. <laughs> no, I need to go on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> That's very up to debate. No. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bleeping in this video. Uh, yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of funny editing do you in this one. Do you one. bleep or do you full gas? Like, censor. No, but... but, but you should censor some things. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But, but Figos, I did like... Uh, uh, I made like... But I can't say the joke now, but <laughs> I, I'll include the clip in this one and then people will know uh, if you know, you know. Yeah. Cut that up like you cut them <laughs> war. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna do any like pictures of other people we talk about too, like in the last yeah. video? They should do, they uh, this weekend I'm gonna use SkyPay for rent. <laughs> no! <laughs> <Skype> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, yeah. Do you Lucy Hamster that?
everything. Okay, um, yeah. And yeah, that's right. about it. Thanks for watching. Wow.